I'm sitting here watching Ken Burns, who's a great documentarian, and this is the documentary that turned me on to him. Ken Burns, The Roosevelt's and American History. Now, this came out 10 years ago in 2014, and I have watched this. Each Let me emphasize, each episode is two hours approximately, and there's seven episodes. And I have watched this entire series, gosh, at least 10 times, at least. It's that good to me. I'm encouraged and inspired by their stories every time I watch it. I bring this up because I'm watching it and I'm just, you know, I have a lot of moments here lately where I think about death. I think about life. I think about how long we have or don't have or whatever. And I'm looking at these footages of these people who are all gone. They are gone. But they're, I don't know if I should say aura. Legacy may be the better word. It's so incredibly strong. Theodore Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, Eleanor Roosevelt. Whoa. That's why it's seven episodes. It's 14 hours of material. Um, but it really hit me. And I think, you know, because neither... Now, Eleanor lived a decent life, longevity-wise. Franklin did not live a long time. And neither did his brother Theodore, I mean, not brother, his fifth cousin Theodore. But I'm watching everything that was taking place, and I'm just listening. And I'm just seven minutes into the first episode, and I'm listening to this, and I'm hearing what Theodore Roosevelt's views were. And and Franklin's as well. They They just felt like we've got this huge job to do. And there's so much more we can do than the the same old, same old. And I thought about it. And I, I really, it really hit me that I, and I just kind of looked at God and I'm like, is that what you're trying to get me to see here? Not, oh, Matthew, you're about to die or something like that. Or <laughs> somebody around you is about to die or some weird sign or something. That's why you're thinking about it like this. But could it be, Lord, that you're actually just trying to get me to see that life is too short to be stuck, to be consumed with nonsense, to be stagnant, to be immobile, to just sit there. Life is too short for that. It's just too short for that. I refer to Theodore Roosevelt a lot as saying, get action stay sane. There's so much we can do. There's so much we have the power to do. And many of us just don't do it. But I just had to share that, that this documentary, I wanted to talk a little bit about that, but then it really triggered that in me. And it made me really think, okay, well, maybe... I'm not thinking about death so much because of that. Maybe I'm thinking about death because of the fact that maybe God's trying to get me to see something. That life is way too short to just sit around. Life is too short to not get action. So as Theodore Roosevelt would say, get action Stay sane.